Hey everyone, I wanted to make a video and address how I recovered from the bulging discs in my back. And if you follow me on Instagram, you likely saw this video before. Here I'll try to expand on that and share some of the feedback and comments I got from that previous video. And a little bit of backstory, how it happened was I'm commuting to, to and from work 30 to 45 minutes each way. At work, I'm sitting 8 to 10 hours, and my chair didn't have the best back support. It was also a little bit broken, so I was regularly putting my spine in a vulnerable position. Then pair that with working out, over time, I just could not loosen my back. Each day, it was getting harder and harder to actually have a good workout, loosen up correctly. And one day in particular, I just could not loosen up at all. I went ahead and squatted anyway, and I felt a pop. And... It took me a while to figure out what exactly it was. It turned out to be bulging discs. So hopefully in this video, I can share my experience, tell you what I did to get better, and then maybe that'll help you improve if you have a similar condition. So probably one of the most important purchases I got to help improve my back was a standing desk. And that addressed the sitting issue at work. You can see I opted for an adjustable one. It has levers on the side. And here at home, it fits on a small table. And when I was at work, I just made sure to check the dimensions of my desk. Another tool that helped in my recovery was this adjustable back stretcher. All you do is lay down on it. And what I read was essentially you don't want to be doing a lot of dynamic movements like foam rollers or, you know, on a tennis ball or anything like that, because it can really aggravate the spine by pulling on tight muscles that surround it. So with this, it's just a static device. You lay down on it and you can get a good stretch without putting your spine at risk. Now, one of the sort of stretches or exercises you can do for your spine is as follows. You sort of break up your spine into thirds here and you focus on lifting one at a time and then back down. And that will help you to pretty much get a nice roll on your spine. So you're, you're like, woo, loosey goosey. <laughs> Now, another stretch that I was able to do pretty early on was a cobra stretch. And so you're keeping your butt down, kind of laying flat, and you're rolling yourself up in this direction from the front to the back. And at the beginning, you probably won't be able to go very far. You might just be able to get into this position, go up to about there. If it hurts, stop. But as you get better, you can slowly roll it higher and higher. And you want to do a little bit of a hold and come back down and do several sets of that. Um, one thing, you might feel a little bit of a cramp in your back, and if that happens, come back down and just do it a little bit lower. Now, it's important to note that as you're recovering from that injury, you're going to be pretty weak at the core from not being able to work out so much. And as you're progressing with the spine, with the muscles in the back, you wanna start adding in some light body weight core exercises. So, you know, those side to side penguins, just light crunches, other things, you can do a reverse hyperextension on your bed to you know, actually hit the muscles in your back. And really, if you need more, I would just go on YouTube and find out other core exercises. There's a lot you can do, and a lot will depend on what happened to your back and where the injury is located. Here I have a few comments from the Instagram video. I would encourage you to simply pause the video and read through them. Now, obviously, I'm not a doctor, but all I know from experience is that many will just say, oh, you need to stop lifting or, oh, you're probably going to need surgery. So just one of those things. I personally like to try things by myself, see what I can research online. This, the things in this video helped me. Um, the comments, you could add that in there too. Maybe take it with a grain of salt. Make sure you're doing your own research based on where you're injured. But Ultimately, you're going to be on a time scale of months, not weeks, more than likely anyway. So don't get discouraged. There was a time when I thought that I would never be able to lift heavy again. But as you can see in the following video. Boom! 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 Yeah! 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 That was a lifetime PR. It occurred about a year after I was finally healed. So, you know, if I can do it, there's no reason at all that you can't. So, you know, best of luck. If you guys have other experiences that I didn't talk about, please list them in the comments below. Use this video as a resource and guide for others who might be seeking help. Thank you. Have a great day. And again, good luck.